The Duluth Trading Company Beefy Leather Belt doesn't really hold your pants up any better than other belts out there, but today I'm going to review a few things that I think it does a lot better than other belts. You can get it on their website for $69. It uh, has a few info pieces there, made in the USA, um, and it's surprisingly simple, and it's actually, through some research, hard to find a well-made USA belt that isn't overly branded or debossed, uh, lots of overstitching or edge painting to it that's really I think trying to hide some of the natural beauty of the leathers that are inherent in this belt. The only branding is a small Duluth Trading Company logo debossed into the face of the belt that eventually gets covered up once you put it on. Uh, these two riv nuts attach the solid brass buckle. Um, I kind of wish there was an actual brass version of this belt um, but I guess you could polish the nickel off as well. It takes a little bit of time to get used to putting this thick leather through the buckle and actually strapping it onto your waist um, but eventually it's not that hard tuck that into the retainer and you can see it sits a little bit higher than a normal belt would but eventually it breaks in and uh, kind of sets it into your waist size my waist size is a 33 if you can see right there and uh, I'm wearing a 36 in this belt so the measurements are a little bit funky incredibly awkward shot of my waist but it's the shot you need I've been wearing this belt for about two or three months now and it's just starting to actually break in and really pick up some different dyes and wear and tear that goes along with having a nice raw leather belt like this. Some people think that's a negative aspect, but I really think that's part of the beauty of this leather. It really grows with you. All you need is a screwdriver to disassemble the belt. Take out those two riv nuts and you can replace the belt buckle if you wanted to or repair anything. I doubt you need it, even this hefty clasp holding together the retainer is overbuilt just like the rest of the belt. To give you some true perspective, here's an average size men's belt for comparison. Now granted it's a totally different style and cut of leather, but you can really tell side by side how different the two belts are. Nobody needs a quarter inch leather belt, but it sure is awesome to have one. A little over six millimeters for the rest of the world here compared to that previous belt that just over a quarter inch. For care and conditioning, I'll use a mink oil. This one's by Red Wing, but you can use pretty much any kind. I really like to use it to kind of soften up the leather, help break it in, and even out any scuffs, dirt, or blue jean dye that you might have gotten on it like I showed before. That is the beefy leather belt. All the product description links will be shown below. If you have any questions or product review ideas, just comment below as well. See ya.